They are two weeks the entire world looks forward to. We are your Olympic station here at NBC 15. And tonight we are joined by Wisconsin native and 2002 gold medal winner Casey Fitzrandolph. Great to see you. Great to see you. You've been on the winning end and the losing end like all of these athletes. Are there any storylines you're following closely right now? I don't know so much about storyline. You know, every event to me is its own storyline, right? Or has multiple storylines even within the event. So no, not one particular storyline. Of course, the battle in the pool. If it, you know, we'll see if it shapes up to be a real battle. But um, every event is different. I'm enjoying them all. I have to ask you because this is the one that bugs me. Was the gymnastics last night? And I, I wasn't rooting for any one specific female athlete, yeah. but just thought all three should be allowed to compete. But that's not the rule. Do you have an opinion on that? Sure, I have an opinion, Lee. What is it? <laughs> it doesn't make it right. Uh, I agree. I think all three of them, uh, you know, okay, so you have to limit it somewhere, right? You're not going to have 24 Americans, you know, competing for... Right. But, um, but three, absolutely. Why not give them a chance to sweep the podium? And, and, you know, gymnastics is a sport with some parity, too. It's not like it's one nation, right? So if we have three great gymnasts this time, maybe it'll be Romania or China or you know somebody sure. else next time. So, But why not have it. the best of the best? Yeah, that's, yeah that's at least my three or four, too. right? When I watch these athletes, I'm amazed for the most part at how calm they are under pressure. So I'm wondering, as an athlete, where do you feel the most pressure? Is it the, the eyes of the world watching? Is it your, your family and your close friends? Or is it the athlete themselves? Well, I think that's a great, that, I love that question because I think it depends on the athlete. And I think the athletes that are feeling the weight of the world or the weight of their family or the, that external pressure mm -hmm. are the ones that generally don't do well. I think the athletes that are more concerned about, all right, you know, I want to do this for me. I want to do this because it means a lot. And able to control those emotions, those are the ones that succeed at the Olympic, at the Olympic Games. Now, here's a question from one of my Twitter followers. He wanted to know, how often do you think about, look at, or, or touch your medal? Because the Olympics, they come and go. What's the lasting significance? Well, th this time of the cycle, fairly often, right, that, that I get to chat about it. Um, but honestly, it's put away in a, in a box, in a box, in a closet that doesn't get seen all that often. Mm -hmm. You know, if, it, it's, you've got you've to move on and have life, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got to help you if you don't, and uh, but you don't want to forget either. And so, um, so you know the kids are curious too, and it comes up uh, on occasion that way. So we pull it out on occasion, speaking engagements as well, and things of that nature. But it's not an all the time thing. You know, it's like anything in life. Uh, you know, moderation is best, and you appreciate things if you don't have them in front of you 24/7. Well, I think that sounds like a pretty good perspective. Maybe it took a couple of years to get there, but we like it anyway. <laughs> I Casey, slept with it for a couple of years. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, right. Then you finally put